Yeah, good day. <clears throat> I just thought I'd make a bit of a casual rant. Um, things aren't still looking so great, but Buddha knows. <laughs> Buddha knows. <laughs> Bloody hell, I've waited till after 11pm, almost, so they wouldn't get interrupted by traffic. Um, yeah, there's not much to report today. I had some really, really good dreams again last night, but I can't remember any of them. So, we'll put that down as a positive thing. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm getting a bit frustrated with a lot of these globe heads that want to argue, or they want to, they want to come in and ridicule, they want to come in and ridicule flat earthers, because they think this will be fun, they're obviously bored trolls, they've got nothing better to do than to come in. And I'm still having actual, almost live conversations with one at the moment. I'm just going to ignore him for the moment. And that is a funny thing, isn't it? I can't even think of their names. Because you know what? Board trolls are irrelevant. You know how much you mean to me? What's your name? Alex or... Whatever it might be. You're irrelevant. The only reason I like to respond to you guys is because I hope that it's going to inspire other flat earthers to see, hey, this guy can stand up to all sorts of ridicule, all sorts of trolling. And I do. There's not a single person that I've ever backed down from when it's come to the flat earth, ever. Not a single one. I mean, there's been a lot of them who are just so abusive. Okay, well, if that's all you got, then bye. You're blocked. You know, I don't tolerate um, just nonsense, nonsensical abuse. I will tolerate any sort of logical debate to do with the flat earth. Absolutely any. And I'm not arrogant about it either, generally speaking. I get arrogant sometimes, very rarely, when I see some dipshit who knows nothing about it come in and think, ooh, I'm just going to go in for a bit of fun and laugh at these people, these people, for fuck's sakes, we are not these people, we are all people, we all belong here together on the flat earth, but if you think you can ridicule somebody because somehow your indoctrinated globe head knowledge is, makes you more superior to these people, then yeah, I'm telling you, you don't belong. You don't belong here. On the flat realm of reality. Right. Far be it from me to just smite anybody into a fire. Would never do that. I'd give anybody the benefit of the doubt. I'll give you as much time and patience as it takes to teach you the truth about flat earth. But if you just come here to ridicule and and insult, then 
Okay. You're on the block list, eventually. I hold hope for everybody, but the ones who are just so quick to anger and insult, that's you, that's you. That's you, you've chosen your path. You wanna go down that path. I can't stop you. I can warn you, I can advise you, I can just say, look, hey, over here, it's nice and calm, peaceful, level. You want to go over that curve? By all means, follow follow your dreams. <laughs> you know, just go for it. It's a shame too, because so many of you think you're um you think you're intellectual. You think you know it all. As I said in one of my comments, it was like me back in the eighties when we thought Thank goodness I never actually did it, but we thought our oh, poofters and that in case you don't know, because you're not necessarily Australian or English, poofters just meant gay people. Men who like men more or less. It didn't mean lesbians, that was the lesos, but the poofters. Our, our concept of, um, I don't know, social justice was to actually go out and be poofed to bashes to go out and bash the fags and thank goodness I never actually did it never, I actually nearly got my um, own head punched in by some really nice people who I thought were good friends simply because I expressed that opinion when I lived in the States for a year, I was only 16 at the time, I was an exchange student over in California, and it's weird because this guy, I thought, yeah, he's a good bloke, you know, invited me around to his place to stay for the weekend, and we're about to have some cones. And I thought, oh, yes, I haven't had cones in ages. And as we sat down to have some cones, he started talking about, can you believe some people want to bash gay people? And I just like thinking, oh, yeah, well, I'll try and stay on the good side of him. And I said, yeah, 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 I think they should all be bashed. And all of a sudden he just goes, what? I said, oh, yeah, yeah, bloody oath. Yeah, just get out and bash them. And the next thing you know, like, I didn't get any cones. <laughs> and the next thing you know, I'm out in the car park and I think, oh, fucking hell, I'm about to cop a beat in there. <laughs> Turns out they're all a bunch of bloody poofters. I didn't know that. I was the innocent victim. <laughs> and I had no hatred in my heart towards gay people one way or the next. I just was going with the flow, thinking, well, you know, you, you just sort of save face with whoever you're with. And ended up, I had to come and, somebody had to come and pick me up and I didn't get stoned. Oh, for fuck's sake. Something went seriously ass up there. But this is how it is with you globeheads at the moment. You think you can come in and bash us flat tards. You, you think it's so cool to do because it's trendy. Oh, flat earthers. Today, in the modern age, somebody can still believe the earth is flat. We don't still believe the earth is flat. We believed exactly as you did about the globe. Just as back in my day, I believed everybody was straight and if you wanted to stay on the flat level, <laughs> you'd um, say, oh yeah, yeah, bash the poofters sort of thing. Not that I had any urge to 
hurt anybody <laughs> at any stage. It was just the thing you sort of said. And that's what you're doing at the moment. You are still in your poof the bashing stage by saying, let's bash the flat earthers. Let's just go in and have some fun. This is going to be fun. Yeah, let's go in and ridicule them. You are just poof the bashers from the fucking 80s. That's how your mentality currently is. You don't understand that we have studied every possible angle of the globe. We know it inside and out. We know that it's impossible. I mean, water level on an 80% covered water bowl. Ah, uh, yeah, water caves, but just so long as it's far enough where you can't fucking see it. You know, just over there. Well, okay, so you can zoom in with your P900 for 100 miles and still see it's flat, but it's obviously the other side, no. It's fucking curving for a 25,000 mile or 40,000 kilometre circumference ball. It has to be curving X amount, eight inches at the first mile, multiplied by how many more? It has to be curving that much to make it a fucking sphere. And not just away from you, but it has to curve left to right. It has to, or it's not a fucking sphere. There's no curvature. It's not a fucking sphere. You know, I used to believe it too. Don't get me wrong. For fuck's sake. I was out there tonight for a fucking hour and a half looking at the stars looking for some reason to still believe it's a sphere. And believe me, I could see lots of reason to think why, because the Milky Way, rather than being directly overhead, it's now slightly to the south. It's all looking different. I'm thinking, well, okay. Maybe we are on a spinning ball going 1,040 miles an hour at the equator. Maybe, you know, it's quite possible. How, how am I to know? How am I to know me living here on the surface of a something so massive that well that's how it, how you tell if it's that massive and it's got that massive amount of speed all you got to do is work out the speeds do it mathematically we're spinning at a thousand and 40 miles an hour at the equator. So maybe down here, just near the easternmost point of Australia, maybe we're only going about 750, 800 miles an hour. Okay. Well, that's cool. But we're also going around the sun. So as we're traveling around on our daily speed, we're going around the sun, and it's only one degree a day. So people think, oh, well, that's cool, it's only one degree. What the fuck are you worried about? That one degree is 1.6 million miles. Now you think about it, when you go on a trip that's 160 kilometers, that's a reasonable trip. It's gonna take you a couple of hours, two or three hours. You wanna go, 1,600 kilometers? That's gonna take you a couple of days. You wanna go 16,000 kilometers? Shit, man, that's, you need to jump in a jumbo jet and it will take you 24 hours at least. But 160,000 miles? How long is that going to take? That's going to take you weeks. Weeks from any possible thing you can think. And yet, the globe model insists every day this little ball that we're spinning on at 1,040 miles an hour is going 1.6 kilometers. <laughs> that came out wrong. 
1.6 million miles. In one day, to go one degree around the sun. 1.6 million miles. And we don't feel a thing. And not a single scientific experiment from the best scientists throughout all of history has detected a single iota of movement of the Earth that we're on. So, if we're the idiots, if us flat tards are the idiots, then by cracky, the things you must believe in, your religious cult beliefs of this imaginable, unimaginable speeds, I think I'd rather be the flat tart idiot believing in what I can see and what I can prove. Because you know what? There's fucking more. You're not just spinning at 1,040 miles an hour going 1.6 kilometers a day because the sun is shooting through space half a million miles an hour times that by 24 that's uh 12 million miles a day it's going 12 million miles a day as we're going 1.6 million miles a day around it so 1040 times 12 let's just say 12 Make it easy. As we're spinning 12,000 miles around on an axis. Actually, it's 24,000 miles. Because that's what they say the size of our planet is. 24,000 miles or 25. So we're spinning once a day. 25,000 miles per day on our axis. 1.6 million miles around the sun as it's shooting twelve million miles through space and not a single experiment ever detected any speed. But where the flat tides I leave it to you globe heads now. You prove it. I say we're on a flat and stationary plane. Prove otherwise. Can you show me how water is not always level? It actually curves at eight inches for every mile squared by the number of miles. Can you show that? I think not. But it's up to you. I'm leaving this open for debate. If you can prove any single one of those things, okay. The debate is on. Earth is flat, and that is that. 